Welcome back viewers. It is time, it is time to see if we can actually complete this challenge. Can we win the Champions League with Benfica in seven seasons? We have just one year left to do it. We've won the Europa League and we've won the league a number of times as well as pretty much a cup competition uh, every season. But we haven't done the big one yet. We haven't done the Champions League. And it is all left down to this one season. We have some superstars in our team for sure. Uh, the transfers, we've been very astute. Jaden Sancho on a free transfer is unbelievable as an acquisition. Uh, but let's have a quick roundup on how we did at the end of Season 6 and catch you up on the journey so far. So here is the end of season six. A quick recap. We finished as champions. We were knocked out uh, in the first round knockout by PSG uh, in the Champions League. I've gone a little bit further ahead there so you can see we're already entered in the group stage. Unfortunately, you can't see where we were. Uh, but the, uh, the cup, we won the cup, both of them. So we are treble winners, domestic treble winners. We have some unbelievable players, but we do have a lot of offers coming in for those players. As you can see here, we are rejecting offers left, right and centre. Thankfully, we've managed to secure all of the good players for at least one more season so that when all of these clubs do come in they are not wanting to, to 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 secure deals anymore as you can see here but we have one season to get them to win us a trophy and that is the main thing that's all we require uh, from them just that one last season so that is when this this series is going to end can we win it let's have a look at what we have done pre-season in the seventh season of this challenge and here we are, viewers, the 10th of August. I have not left it too long this time round. Uh, Academia is our first game as we go ahead. We have had a transfer original budget of 15 million. We have 48 left, and that is because we have done some good business yet again, viewers. Even now, even though we are playing in a, in a series where we don't necessarily need to focus on the finances, I've done so well with the finances. Uh, it's just kind of what I'm used to but these are the signings that we have made it's been a very quiet transfer window viewers and that is because I really do fancy our chances with the side that we have a total of 35 million on the outs Sandro Tonali unfortunately has left the club he was very unhappy we had one year left on his deal I just cashed in to be honest we were we weren't really using him he didn't play that many games last season 23 appearances 15 of them were from the bench and I seen a player become available who I've always wanted to manage on this game, Mikel Oyafabal uh, from Barcelona. He was no longer wanted. He is an unbelievable player. And unfortunately, we don't play a cam role, but he can play in centre midfield or on the wings or up front. And that is the reason why I brought him in, because he is one of those players, as you can see, viewers, he doesn't have anything what, what he is bad at. He's just all well-rounded. Very good, an elite attacking midfielder, and we picked him up for £58 million. He barely played the last two seasons, uh, and I brought him to Benfica because I want a Champions League. He's at least going to win a league trophy. I'm sure we are going to win the league from, with this team that we have. A great side. Tactically, though, tactically, now I've changed it, viewers. If you remember rightly, we used the Eradicating Visions in the last episode, where we had two strikers here, and I have changed it. I'm fed up with our assistant manager not being very good at picking the two strikers that we need. But we do have three exceptionally good centre-backs. So I decided to make a little uh, little change to Ryan Cassidy's tactic. And although Ryan Cassidy will be livid with me that I changed his tactic, I think it suits our side, the players that we have better. We have three centre-backs now. So against the bigger sides, we might be a little bit better. This player here, I've changed his instructions so he stays wider. Filling in kind of as a left back as well as a centre back. These two players here are kind of just the new, the, the usual centre backs. Uh, so it kind of suits us better. We have three exceptionally good centre backs uh, in Defrem, uh, Pau Torres and Ruben Diaz. Not to mention we have a good couple of backups if we need to. Christopher Ayer being one of them. So I'm, I'm happy to see that we have the players for these roles. And even Katabach can fill in at centre back if need be. We have great players going forward. This role has changed from centre midfielder on attack to a box-to-box -box midfielder so we have a little bit more on defence as well it might have been a better option to play those two switching around but I think the Mazzal on attack because he does drift wide and the inverted winger dr does drift inside they kind of switch around 
Let's hope that that makes a bit of a difference going forward as well. But that is enough from me. Let's see how we do. Are we in a Champions League final? Because remember, viewers, if we come back and we're in a Champions League final, we are going back to that day because we need to play that game. There's no chance I am missing out. Hello, viewers. Look what we have here. It is the final, viewers. The Champions League final against Chelsea as well. So let's have a quick look at the journey so far. The semi-final, we defeated Barcelona in a 4-1 victory on aggregate. Very good performance there. Quarter-final, we overcame a deficit of 2-1 against PSG. We beat them 2-0 away and won on aggregate 3-2. Lovely. First round knockout. Liverpool, we had a very tough route onto the, in, into this journey. We beat them 1-0 twice. Benfica through. So we are doing very well. Uh, and I'm quite happy with how we have done. And now we have a final against ben, uh, against Chelsea Sorry for Benfica. Mako Peel. Now this is the saddest news you're ever going to see. Because Mako Peel, of course, has kind of been the hero of this save in the last couple of episodes. He is the outstanding striker that we have, of course, the Argentinian. He is injured for 10 days to 3 weeks and will not be available to play in this game. I cannot tell you viewers how devastated I actually am because look how good he is in the future. Oh, I can't believe our luck that we're going to miss out on him because he's had a phenomenal season as well. 18 goals in just 24 appearances. So he's been struck by injuries quite often. He scored 34 in 47 games in total and 15 assists. He is just unbelievable in this game and we're going to miss him so, so much. Oh, gutted. Anyway, the other competitions. We won the league again. Very comfortably, we won the league against Sporting. Porto actually finished in fourth place. We won the cup. We won the other cup. We also won the Super Cup in Portugal. We're trying to win it all, viewers, and we're going to do it right now. So this is the lineup that we are going to go with in this Champions League final. Of course, we have Onana in goal. And let's go through player by player so you can see the final forms of these men. Pau Torres. A fantastic centre-back that we managed to pick up on a free transfer. Uh, 29 years of age now. Ruben Diaz, his, we've managed to keep hold of him this whole time, viewers. He is also in his prime, 29 years of old. Uh, Defirm actually turned out to be an exceptionally good player. 21 years of age. He has reached his full potential by the looks of it at 163. And he looks like a beast. Tavares on this right-back role. He is being better than what I ever imagined he would be. So I'm really happy with that. Florentino Luis, we've managed to keep hold of him as well. He's not the best centre, mid, uh, centre midfielder in a deep line playmaker role I've ever seen because his passing is not great, but he does have great tackling. Uh, his mental attributes, though, are where it's at. An exceptionally good centre midfielder in that regards. In front of him, though, we have this man, who you might not have remember, but we did pick him up not so long ago. I think it was in episode three, in episode two or three, maybe season three or four, let's see uh, we picked him up 2021 22 season for 13 million pound from gremio and now he is a beast in this box box midfielder role he's turned out to be a very good player indeed uh, we also have perez the uh, the spaniard that we picked up from real sociedad he is an exceptionally good player. Jaden Sancho, of course, on this left-hand side. Been a focal point of our attacks recently. Wembangomo, who has my favourite name. Uh, he could be even better if we manage to play him in, a, in, 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 the, link, in the long deals that we, we gave him. He's got joining Juventus because he wouldn't sign a new deal, but it doesn't matter. He's playing in the Champions League final, and hopefully he can do the business for us. Now, do we play, do we play Yotta or do we play Luis Mousset? Or Yathabao. Or Yathabao can actually play there in this role. Let's go for a Yathabao. Although Yota would be great because he is, of course, the uh, a player from Benfica's youth ranks. I'm going to go with a Yathabao. I just think he could be better for us. We've scored a lot of goals from Mako Peel, assisting from that role. And a Yathabao has great passing attributes. So let's try him in that role. Proceed to match. We're going to do it, viewers. Come on. The Champions League. We, we are missing our best player, granted. But we still have a huge opportunity. And look at this Chelsea side. Ansu Fati, Tammy Abraham still there with Pulisic. Uh, Ishmael Banassa is in there. Sandro Tonali. I forgot that we sold Sandro Tonali to him. Oh, dear. Uh, they have they don't have a lot of uh, regions. But what they do have is Everton on the bench. Sander Burge on the bench. 
Uh, Esposito on the bench and Icardi. Do they need any more decent strikers? This is their only regen that they have in the side here. We can take a look at him. A left back, one of the best left backs in the world, viewers. A Frenchman. So, there we go. It is all down to this game. Can we win it? Passionately say... Um, we've been on a good run now. This, these fans have been fantastic for us. Can we win it? This, <laughs> what's going to be funny about this is I'm making my uh, managerial debut in a Champions League final because, of course, my assistant manager has taken over every single game other than this one, uh, which is why the series is like it is, where we holiday uh, the season. That is why it is like it is. So let's see if we can finally do it, viewers. Hopefully we can win this league. We can win this Champions League. We're starting off 10 minutes into the game already. And Chelsea have a chance. Christensen to Sandro Tonali. He has something to prove, doesn't he? Sandro Tonali. Tammy Abraham cuts inside and Andre Onana with a fantastic save. Tonali, of course, lifted the Europa League with us. Uh, so either it's going to be bittersweet for him. Oh, God. From that corner, Tammy Abraham has, has scored. And I don't know where Onana's gone. What has he done there? That is not great defending at all. Ishmael Banasa. I mean, it's not a great corner. And I think Onana has just tripped over his own defender on the post. Not great. Here we go, viewers. 22 minutes in. Let's see if we can create another opportunity for ourselves here to firm. He's played in Wimbangomo. He's onside. Oh, and he's flashed it past the post. It's an unbelievable opportunity to equalise. We can start off again. Pow. We have three very good centre-backs who can pass the ball. Macedo. Oh, you have the bowels ahead of him. He doesn't go there. He goes for Wembangomo, though. Plays it out to Jane Sancho. Perez, a 1-2 with Jane Sancho. Cut it back if you can. Wembangomo, he's hit the post. And Sancho Tali clears. Oh, yes. So close again. Perez, headed in and Kepa saves. So many early opportunities for us to equalise. And if we don't go on and lift this trophy, you just think, what if? Because these chances should be tucked away. Tavares, highlight over, but we continue straight away with another one. Don't be a red. Oh my God. There we go, viewers. A nice introduction to Macedo. A straight red card. <laughs> Can you believe it? Well, I can't take off another striker. We're just going to have to rock with 10 men for the remainder of this game. Gabriel Macedo. What are you doing there? I mean, we're going to go over and have a look at the uh, the structure of how the season went after and all the final stats of all the players. So we'll see whether he's been playing a lot. But I just picked him out as a player that I really wanted to use in this game. And he's really let me down there. Benassa, Kovacic, Ansu Fati. Onana with a great save. The chance is still alive though. Kovacic has a shot blocked out to Reese James. And we still are in with a shout. Pau, Perez. The good thing is we have a lot of passes in this team. Uh, so maybe we, although we are missing a player in that midfield, look how many players they have in their midfield. We cannot go in there because we are playing a deep line playmaker. We maybe need to look to change that. Tavares, oh Yathabao, how has he missed? It's a phenomenal opportunity. It's a great opportunity, and he's missed it. Right, I think we need to change this straight away. I'm going to make a decision. We need to change this. Uh, we need to put him in that box box midfielder, Florentino Luis. We need to sacrifice this role here. Uh, because they are playing so many midfielders in that role. We're just going to lose out on the ball. I'm quite curious as to what formation they are playing as well. And we'll look to see. If they're playing without a cam, then it's probably the best uh, option for us to do that. It's a deep line playmaker role then. He can still drop back up. And now he can go forward instead of being restricted. Thomas Tavares. That's good from you. When Bangomo. Oh, Kepa makes another save. Kepa. What, you're not like this in real life. How is he making so many saves? Perez, we score a lot of goals from corners we've seen in previous episodes so far. Not so much today. Let's see. Their formation. Chelsea's formation. Yes, they are playing this with three midfielders with that playmaker. Uh, the di Well, the defensive midfielder, sorry, in Sandro Tonali. So they don't have a cam role. So I think it's wise for us moving uh, deep line, our deep line playmaker into the box-to-box -box midfielder role. Because else we're just going to get overrun. In their mid, in their like, in their half in midfield, we got no one in there helping us. Half time has passed. We need something to happen now. Perez has also picked up a yellow card. We can't afford to lose another player. Not in a Champions League final. Tammy Abraham to Benassa. 
Oh, it's a good shot blocked. Pulisic keeps the ball alive so far. Sandro Tonali. Back to Pulisic. Reese James. What can you do, Pulisic? Back to Tonali. Come on. The pressure's good, but it's out to Zowie, who keeps it in and plays it back to Kovacic. They're keeping the ball so well, Chelsea, but we're just pinning them back. And we're not giving them an opportunity. And they're... Oh, no. Tammy Abraham has scored again. And Powell with the worst back pass. I hate, I hate that kind of highlight. I really do. You hate to see it. Oh, that's unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. Are we going to be, uh, this is this is going to be a very disappointing end to a very exciting series, viewers, because I thoroughly enjoyed doing this series, I must say. Although it's a very short one, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Thomas Tavares, play him in. Play when Bangoma in. Why didn't you do that? He's had a bad shot. I think we need to make a change. Oyathabal is up there doing nothing. Least Mousset will bring Jaden Sancho up further up the pitch now. We're going to go attack him, viewers. We're just going to have to do it. We have Trevino on the bench. We also have Avramovic, who are two very good midfielders, and Marcos Antonio, uh, who has been missing out in the last couple of seasons. Because we just have so many good players, viewers. We have so many good centre midfielders. And now we can't use them all because one of them has been sent off. Pulisic, we need to defend this, this attack. And it's over, viewers. Oh, he's offside. He's offside. We still have an opportunity. That is Benassa. He's been ruled offside. And you question his uh, his intentions here. It was actually Christensen. So I don't know why And oh, it is Andreas Christensen who's been granted offside. Come on, viewers. Can we put what? Can we just bring back something? Try and give us a little bit of hope. 67th minute. I think maybe we need to take off another set, uh, a centre back, and we'll go for this. Oh, Nana! We need to do that. We need to make a change. We need to make a change. And I think if we change Diaz and Torres, and maybe we go two up top, and we just go for it. I think this is going to have to be. We need two goals for us. So it has to be, really. Jota, going to come on. What is his best role as a striker? Uh, two advanced forwards, maybe a false nine. A false nine could be quite good. Link him up. We'll try that. We'll try that. I'm basically just doing this on a whim, viewers. That red card has really not helped us whatsoever. And they're just, they've just kept exactly the same. They don't really need to do anything. But time is ticking away. We haven't created any chances since that red card, unfortunately. And I, I, I dread to think. I think this could be over. Sander Berge is now on. I don't think, viewers, we're going to be very... Yeah, there we go. In into injury time. We do have a very late opportunity here. If we do score, and we have done so. We've picked up the ball. Robin DeFerm gives us two minutes to keep it going. Can you imagine if we manage to pull this back with two minutes to go? And we go on and win this trophy. It's not to be, though, viewers... Full time and Chelsea has won the Champions League. We've got to the final though in the seven year challenge. And we were in a whiskers hope of doing it. I just can't believe how close we managed to get. So gutted. I can't believe it viewers. Well, that was disappointing. The red card really screwed us up there. Well... Let's have a look to see how the performances were throughout this season. The most performance, the most appearances there, Andre Onana, uh, Pau Torres. The red card, which was, where is he? Uh, Gabriel Maicedo. So he's been a bit part, but he has done well when he has actually played. 7.21, 11 goals in total. So goals, we missed make up here, didn't we? We missed make up here. We couldn't score from open play. We only scored from the corner. Mikel Oyathabal was the second top scorer. He's played 36 games in total. So he has played a phenomenal amount of games. Uh, 30, 32 games for Wenban Gomo. He's got 16 goals. James Sancho getting 17 goals. A lot of goals spread across. Assist wise, Thomas Tavares, the right back. Picking up a lot of assists. Mako Peel with 15 as well. Avramovic with 11. And finally, viewers, average rating. A 7.6 average rating for Mako Peel. A very high average rating. Just wasn't to be. So, viewers, let's look at my profile here. We've done quite well. We are a Benfica icon, by the way. You can see it here. A Benfica icon. 
I will take that. <laughs> I can't believe we actually managed to do that. Uh, we have a look at the milestones and the competitions uh, where we had finished. Run us up there in the Champions League gutting, but we did win so many trophies in total. Uh, a great season nonetheless. We won the Liga NOS 2022, 20, 23, 25 and 26. So we won four Liga NOS trophies in total, one Europa League trophy. We just could not get our name on the big one. So that is very unfortunate to say the least. Uh, I am absolutely gutted, viewers. But there we have it. I hope you enjoyed this very short, snappy series. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see more. And again, what teams you would like me to try and do this with. Whether it's to win the league with a lower league side. Uh, or whether it's to win a Champions League trophy with a team kind of like Benfica. Who hasn't won it for a few years. Uh, who, you know, isn't one of the best teams in the world right now. These are the type of challenges we want to do. Around about five to seven years is the challenge that I want to do. Anything longer and it just seems too much, anything shorter, and it's not really quite enough. So the four-episode mark, I think, is perfect for this, this short-term series. It's, it's quick, it's snappy, uh, new people can come on board each time, and if you're catching up, it's just four episodes to catch up on. So it's not too bad whatsoever. But anyway, viewers, I hope you enjoyed it. If you can, smash a like button. That will be absolutely fantastic. If this is the first series that you've watched of mine and you thoroughly enjoyed it, then please consider subscribing because there will be more just like this, as well as player spotlights, as well as tactic testers as well on the channel. And going forward towards FN21, we'll have a few more different videos. And FN21, we're going to hit it off with a bang. A lot of player spotlights uh, from the off, from the day one. So and, and series like this this twitch of course we're on twitch as well doing the title collector series right now twitch.tv forward slash omega luke gaming and viewers we have a patreon page if you would like to donate to the patreon page and help uh, pledge and support me financially uh, page.com forward slash omega luke gaming all of these episodes have been early access for certain people uh, who are on the patreon at just four dollars tier they've got to see it before anyone else on the YouTube channel. So that is a big benefit of the Patreon, should you wish to have a look at that. And we also have a Discord viewers. Over a thousand people in the Discord now. We have so many people in there who love to talk FM on a daily basis. You can download the tactics that you've seen here, Eradicating Visions. Uh, you can download uh, loads of different things, uh, save game files, everything like that in the Discord. Uh, all the links are down below. But my name is Meg Luke. Thank you very much for spending this journey with Benfica uh, with me. Mako Peel, if only you were around in that cup final and we didn't have a player sent off, who knows what would have happened. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, remember to smash that like button. Hit the Patreon page if you want some early access to some videos or to sponsor a player. And here is a video that I think you might like.